Yes. Yes. Are we all doing hot water? Very good. I know what it look like. I look like the son of the very first act. <laughs> but he shot me out. That's me. Uh, I'm a comedian. I struggle to write jokes. So write things I'm passionate about. I'm very passionate about Doctor Who. Any Doctor Who fans in? Oh, very good. A fellow virgin there. <laughs> nice to greet you. Very nice. <laughs> you excited for the new season? Yeah. <laughs> I made her blush. That's the first time I've ever made a woman blush. Yeah. But I'm very excited for the next season because for the first time ever, we have a black and gay doctor. Should he get one? Well, I think that's amazing. What about you guys? The only thing I fear, though, for this next season is I don't think he'll be traveling back in time very much. <laughs> you know, because of history. You familiar with history? Very good. My friends say I'm like a mole. Because when I take off my glasses, I can't see very well. I have small beady eyes. And I like to have sex with moles. <laughs> no beaver for me, just moles. <laughs> I'm bisexual. There you go, yeah. Some people are surprised when I say I'm bi because I'm not camp. I just look like a living one. <laughs> That's great. You're having a great time, aren't you? <laughs> My first kiss. <laughs> We've hit a brick wall. <laughs> I didn't come out, though, until I left home because I'm from the most accepting place in the world, Northern Ireland. <laughs> Belfast, 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 you're right, here. how are we doing? <laughs> Your hand is sweaty as shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, that would do that. <laughs> where, where are you from? <laughs> Where's Belfast? <laughs> cool. Uh, oh. Oh, are we doing this? Is this, where, is this what's going? Uh, where, what, what, what side of the community do you fall on? <laughs> Not mine. What, is it the green? <laughs> yeah, I'm in green and you're in orange. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, but... Uh, I, I went. I went. Uh, I went to an all boys school uh, when I was home, <laughs> and uh, you, you can imagine the mentality of the the guys there. You don't want to come out as someone who likes to bum man, um, so I kept it to myself. But I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you an idea. So one of the boys shagged the female hockey coach in my school, right? And I, and it got out to the local press. And uh, I was reading the headlines, you know, it was all, that poor boy, his innocence was stolen. <laughs> they must not feel safe to go to that school. I'll be honest, attendance was never fucking higher. <laughs> <laughs> we were all walking in, hopefully it's me today. <laughs> Detention, you say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lonely boy. I'm a lonely chap. That's the reason I like taking early morning flights. So I finally get to sleep next to someone. <laughs> That's great. I love that. I always take the middle seat as well. Because it's like a threesome. <laughs> it's great. And you know when you're, you, you fight with, uh, you, you put your arms on the armrest and you're fighting over the bit of space? That's all I need. <laughs> love that shit. So I need a bit of elbow. 
It's great. I don't like Southern English people. Because <laughs> they always say the same thing. They always say, <laughs> I hate it when they say that. <laughs> <laughs> I did have sex once. <laughs> I was on a boatload of ketamine at the time. <laughs> People used to say to me, Daniel, you shouldn't do cat. You should leave it to the professionals, and it only should be used on animals. And to them I say, get off your high horse. <laughs> Let me live my life. But yeah, I betted this young woman. And uh, <laughs> that sounded like, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Spunky, please don't come for me. <laughs> uh, I need my hands for this job. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I finished and uh, she climbed off. And uh, my massive, massive penis. <laughs> oh, it's so small. It's <laughs> it looks like a thumb. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, I rolled over to her and said, oh, this was great. We should do this again some sometime. You free tomorrow? And she said, uh, no, sorry, I have school. <laughs> I know. That was my reaction as well. I was like, shit, what age are you? And she said, uh, I'm 35, I'm a hockey coach. <laughs> um, I've been Dinah McRainer, thank you guys so much! <laughs>